Actress Liza Scott made a big mark in Hollywood during the mid 19s. She was well known for her roles in various movies, but one standout film was Dead Reckoning, where she really showed off her acting skills and became a top actress of her time. Her performances inspired many budding actors and actresses, myself included. If you have any personal stories or memories about this classic star, feel free to share them in the comments below. And stick around because there are some interesting, surprising, and even sad facts coming up in this video. In her time in the spotlight, she made a lasting impression on the film world, changing how stories were told on screen and showing different kinds of women. Her amazing talent and charm could keep audiences glued to their seats, making her performances unforgettable. She broke old ideas about what women could do in movies, showing they could be strong and interesting characters. She didn't just act. She paved the way for better, more real female roles. Her influence goes beyond her time, inspiring actors and directors for years to come. Even as Hollywood changes, her effect still matters, showing how powerful acting can be. Her impact reminds us how stories can shape what people think. She's a big part of Hollywood's history, someone we still look up to and learn from today. Looking back, her influence shows how art can change things and how storytelling is a strong force in our culture. Her example guides us toward better, more creative movies, proving that telling stories is a timeless art form. In the mid-1950s, a scandal brewed around her personal life. The tabloid Confidential alleged she was a lesbian, a topic still taboo then. The head of Confidential, Howard Rushmore, detested her for criticizing the Hollywood blacklist openly. He tried tarnishing her image with fake stories about passionate affairs with women. In Loving You, she portrayed Glenda Markle, Elvis Presley's publicist. One of her stunts possibly inspired a later Presley movie. A newspaper clip showed Presley's character kissing a fan backstage titled That Kiss and Cousin. Out of all her films, she cherished you came along the most, considering it her favorite. At her 21st birthday bash in New York Stork Club, hosted by Hollywood reporter and press agent Irving Hoffman, the atmosphere was buzzing with joy and music. She gracefully mingled with the crowd, catching everyone's eye. Before diving into acting, she explored modeling with the Walter Thornton Agency, showcasing her stunning looks. Early critics accused her of copying Toyula Bankhead and Lauren Buckhall, but she was determined to create her own path in showbiz. Despite these comparisons, her unique charm and skill stood out, captivating audiences with every performance. She effortlessly switched between playing tough characters and vulnerable heroines, leaving a mark on the silver screen. Her journey to fame had its challenges, but she faced them with unwavering determination. Each setback only fueled her ambition, pushing her toward greater success. Through hard work, she earned a spot among Hollywood's elite, gaining the admiration of fans and colleagues. As her career flourished, she evolved as an actress, tackling tough roles with skill. Her talent knew no limits, and her performances continued to engage audiences globally. With each new project, she pushed the limits of her craft, leaving a lasting impression that would inspire future actors. In Hollywood history, her name remains linked with talent, beauty, and grace. Her impact on the silver screen is deeply ingrained in film lore, a sign of her influence as one of the greats of her time. Though time passes, her brilliance continues to shine, a source of inspiration for those following in her footsteps. In Italy, Rena Morley was the voice for Liza Scott, but in some movies, she was dubbed by other actresses. Morley wasn't just an actress, she also did charity work. From the 1970s until she died, she worked in real estate and helped out with charities like Project Hope, and the Ancient Arts Council of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. In the movie Dead Reckoning, Trudy Stevens dubbed Elizabeth Scott singing. Besides acting, Scott also did real estate and charity work. She made a big impact on the world around her, leaving a memorable presence. In looking back at the past, it's fascinating to see how certain people left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. One such individual, through her talent and dedication, made a significant impact during the golden age of Hollywood. She wasn't just an actress, she was a star who shone brightly on the silver screen, leaving behind memories that still resonate today. Her journey through the world of cinema serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the art of performance. As we reflect on her career, it becomes clear that her influence was profound, touching the hearts of audiences everywhere. Her story is one of passion, perseverance, and the pursuit of excellence, a testament to the enduring allure of classic Hollywood. Starring as Jane Palmer in Too Late for Tears, Liza Scott shared the screen with Christine Miller, both enjoying long lives before passing away in 2015 at the ages of 92 and 90, respectively. 
Considered for lead roles in Love Letters and the affairs of Susan, Scott Sultry looks open doors to modeling gigs during her teenage years. Before catching Paramount Studios' attention, she served as Tallulah Bankhead's understudy. Scott's journey into Hollywood began through modeling and underlining Bankhead's performances. Eventually, Paramount Studios recognized her potential, offering a contract that paved the way for her cinematic career. Elizabeth Scott, a versatile actress, played various roles in different movies throughout her career. In one film, she worked alongside Humphrey Bogart, portraying Coral Chandler. Their characters later became subjects of parody in Woody Allen's Play It Again, Sam. In another movie, she took on the character of Jane Palmer, with producer Hunt Stromberg borrowing her talents from independent producer Hal B. Wallis. Additionally, in Loving You, she played Glenda Markle. And an interesting fact is that one of the middle-aged women enlisted for publicity was portrayed by Madge Blake, who later became known for her role as Bruce Wayne's Aunt Harriet in the mid-60s TV hit Batman. These instances demonstrate Elizabeth Scott's ability to adapt to different roles and collaborate with various actors and directors throughout her career. In a classic movie scene, a character leisurely walks down the main street, holding a book titled This Is My Best. The actor playing this character got a boost in their career from a well-known producer. A fellow actor once suggested a complex relationship between her and the producer. In a mid-90s interview, she talked about the rise of film noir, explaining that it came about as storytelling shifted to delve into deeper human emotions and psychology. This period marked a departure from traditional narratives, aiming for a more realistic portrayal of life. It was a time of exploring human thoughts and feelings, a change that she found both interesting and exciting. This shift in how movies were made opened up new opportunities for actors and directors to explore the complexities of being human. The actors' insights into the evolution of film noir still captivate film enthusiasts, giving a peek into the artistic and cultural influences of that time. These reflections enhance our understanding of filmmaking and storytelling nuances, reminding us of the lasting influence of those who led the way in cinematic innovation. In the heyday of Hollywood, there was a famous actress who looked a lot like her mom. She had a kind face with strong Slavic features and was well-liked in the movies. One time, a director didn't want to redo some scenes just to show her face more because she was so good on screen. Even now, clips from her movies still grab people's attention. She was really good at acting, and people loved watching her. Critics and fans were amazed by how she could play different emotions so well from being sexy to being tough. The characters she played are still remembered by people who love movies. She was a big deal in Hollywood and was known for being elegant and glamorous. Her work in movies will always be remembered as part of Hollywood history, showing how talented she was. In the realm of classic Hollywood, one figure stands out for her captivating performances and lasting influence. Recognized for her roles in iconic films like The Strange Love of Martha Ivers and Pitfall, she mesmerized audiences with her enigmatic charm and versatile talent. Her career spanned various genres, from intense film noir to light-hearted comedy, showcasing her ability to command the screen with her presence. Alongside another renowned actress, she shared a warm reunion despite initial disagreements over billing. Notably, she played a crucial role in introducing a young talent to the world, forever changing the landscape of music and entertainment. Though she passed away in 2015, her contributions to cinema endure, leaving behind a remarkable journey of performances and characters that have left an unforgettable mark on Hollywood history. She was born to immigrants from Ukraine, a detail that adds depth to her story and underscores her journey to stardom. Her distinct persona, voice, and charisma ensured her place among the legends of the silver screen. Her passing at the age of 92 marked the end of an era, but her influence lies on in the hearts of movie lovers everywhere. In the middle of the 19s, she became famous not only for acting in movies, but also for her involvement in politics. She supported Ronald Reagan and his political campaigns three times, showing she cared about more than just being a movie star. On November 27, 1952, she appeared on a TV show called I've Got Secret and shared a fun fact about herself. She had a dimpled knee. This added a playful touch to her image. She also tried her hand at singing, releasing an album in 1957. The album had romantic songs and showed off her singing talent. With her interest in politics, her fun personality quirks, and her singing career, she made a lasting impact on the entertainment world. Born Emma Matzo in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Scott attended the Albion School of Drama in New York City. After a stint as a model for Harper's Bazaar, she landed a role as the understudy for Tallulah Bankhead in a Broadway production. Despite the challenges posed by Bankhead, she persevered 
and soon secured a contract with Paramount Pictures. Scott's film debut came in You Came Along opposite Robert Cummings, followed by notable roles in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers and Desert Fury. In the 1948 film Pitfall, she portrayed a tempting fashion model, while in Too Late for Tears, she played a manipulative character who dispatched not one but two husbands. Upon her passing, her ashes were entrusted to her close friend, Mary Goodstein. During the 1940s, her image was featured in magazine adverts for Royal Crown Cola. She gained attention for her roles in film noir classics such as Dead Reckoning and Pitfall. Despite never achieving the same level of fame as some of her contemporaries, she carved out a niche for herself in Hollywood with her distinctive voice and sultry presence. She continued to work in both film and television throughout the 1950s and 1960s, albeit with diminishing frequency. Her later years were marked by a retreat from the public eye as she preferred to live a quiet life away from the spotlight. Despite her relative obscurity in later years, she remains a notable figure in the annals of Hollywood history, remembered for her contributions to the film noir genre 